then surfaces of the heart the sternocostal surface of the heart or anterior surface is directed mainly forwards and is divided by atrioventricular or coronary groove into atrial part and ventricular part the atrial part it is a smaller part and the lies above the coronary groove it is formed mainly by red atrium and its oracle the left atrium is hidden by ascending aorta and the pulmonary trunk ventricular part it is larger part lies below the coronary groove and it is divided by anterior interventricular groove into right two thirds formed by right ventricle and the left one third by left ventricle the sternocostal surface of the heart is mainly formed by right ventricle this the sternocostal surface of the heart divided by atrioventricular groove or coronary groove into atrial part and the ventricular part the ventricular part subdivided by anterior interventricular groove into right two thirds right ventricle left one third left ventricle the apex is completely formed by the left ventricle apex of the heart is formed by left ventricle only and it is directed downwards forwards and to the left it lies opposite the fifth intercostal space on the left side three and a half inches or nine centimeters to the left of the median plane just medial to the mid clavicular line this is the apex of the heart completely formed from the left event the base of the heart or posterior surface it is directed backwards up to the middle four thoracic vertebrae number five six seven and eight it is formed by both atria, mainly the left atrium, which is separated from the vertebral column by the following, by pericardium, esophagus, and descending aorta. The diaphragmatic surface of the heart, this is the diaphragmatic surface of the heart, and this is the base of the heart or posterior surface. The diaphragmatic surface directed downwards and separated from the frame by the pericardium. It is divided by posterior interventricular groove into right one third formed by red ventricle and the left two thirds formed by the left ventricle. The reverse of the sternocostal surface. Posterior interventricular groove contains posterior interventricular artery of the right coronary, middle cardiac vein. Then the right ventricle it has three walls, anterior, inferior, and the left or septal wall. The anterior wall forms the main part of the sternocostal surface of the heart. It is related to anterior wall of the thorax, but separated from it by pericardium and the anterior margin of the left pleura and the lung. Inferior wall related to the diaphragm, but separated from it by the pericardium. Left wall is formed by interventricular septum. This is the right ventricle of the heart, forming the main part of the sternocostal surface of the heart. The left ventricle also has three walls, anterior, inferior, and right or septal wall. On cross-section, the left ventricle is more circular in outline, and the thickness of the wall is three times as thickness of the right ventricle the left ventricle is related to the following left phrenic nerve and the left pericardiacophrenic artery it forms most of the diaphragmatic surface of the heart and this is the left ventricle forming most of the diaphragmatic surface of the heart